evening, YouTube. And welcome. Spaceman here with you. And tonight, I am going to be smoking and sharing with you my experience with this. Rattray's Hallow the Wind. Virginia Tobacco, which is blended for Charles Rattray at Perth, Scotland, uh, since 1903, by the way. And it has a very creative, uh, some very creative artwork on the back of this tin. I really like that. Enjoy that. This is a 3.5 ounce tin. And... Um, just now I'm getting my true light and I'm giving the pipe tobacco its well needed review because I smoked it in my last video and I did not give it an actual review I just I was telling a ghost story mind you so straighten my shirt out here right this is my Jethro Tull shirt I saw Jethro Tull uh, this particular I've seen Jethro Tull like three times um, and this particular tour was the uh, 2002 tour in which I saw them headline the Patriots Theater in Trenton New Jersey that would have been on August 28th of 2002 and I just want to get off course here a little with that and just tell you a little bit about that i saw them uh for the first time in 1989 on the um rock island tour where they headlined uh the spectrum in philadelphia and then saw them again in 98 at the grand cayman ballroom on their 25th anniversary tour and um, where they did like a best of kind of thing. But anyway, I'm getting off course. Let's get back to the tobacco. Um, this is a tobacco that's comprised of Virginia, Kentucky, and Perique. And in my last video, I mispronounced it. It is not pronounced hallow the wind it's pronounced hallow the wind and let me give you a little bit of history on that the reason it's pronounced wind instead of wind w-y-n-d would be because of uh an old norse word called vinder the word was vinder which meant a turn and a wind in scotland I'm guessing, um, or Northern England, too, is a kind of small street that goes down in between houses. Um, not necessarily an alley, but kind of midway between an alley and a regular normal street, kind of like a small street. If you want more history on this tobacco, you might want to visit... Um, token Tommy on YouTube visit his channel and you'll get a little bit more history on that um, it was obviously named after a hero during um, a war I guess in Scotland the Battle of the North something I I don't know the exact I'm not a big history aficionado uh, but I do know it was in 1396, and this man's name was Henry Smith. He was a blacksmith, and his nickname was Hallow the Wind. How interesting, right? Well, let's get to the tobacco, okay? I already mentioned to you that it is a Virginia primarily with Kentucky and Perique. And it is, uh, from what I understand, a dark red Virginia. 
Kind of looks brownish, maybe a brownish red. Let's get a good look at it there. Um, there's three tobaccos in this series from Rat Rays. One is Old Gallery. This is the other. And the other one is Martin's Flake or Martin Flake. And those tobaccos differ in different ways. I'm trying to scratch my head with my hat on. That's impossible. <laughs> um, this has... I haven't tried the Old Gallery or the Martin Flake or Martin's Flake. Correct me on that one. I'm not sure. Um, but they are three favorites in that series and um the old gallery is um from the research i've done has a sweeter taste to it flavor where the martin flake has more perique this has dark fired kentucky or fire cured fire cured kentucky So you got Virginia, fire cured Kentucky, and Paris. It has a sweet, kind of like not real sweet, but a citrusy, kind of like a little bit of a fruity flavor in there going on. Um, along with a little bit of spiciness, but probably not as much spicy uh, flavor as the um, Martin Flake. It's a strong, sharp-aged, sharp-aged Red Virginia. I'm, yeah, I'm checking my notes here, my cheat sheet. <laughs> um, it will perk you up very quickly. Pressed and rubbed by hand. It's a broken flake. Um, I am picking up a spicy note. I've I've not tried the old gallery or the Martin's Flake. You know, I still don't know if that's Martin's or Martin Flake. Maybe I'm pronounced. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. Um, but it's still um, a nice smoke. Okay. There's no flavoring. Um, it's just, this is just straight tobacco, okay? Straight ahead tobacco. Um, it's blended by coal haze and cop. And very strong. Strength-wise, this is a very robust tobacco. I, boy, it'll hit you. It's got a punch to it, okay? So you're probably going to want to eat a decent meal before you smoke a bowl of this. It was a bit wet out of the tin, so I dried it for... A little under an hour and a half. I probably didn't have to dry it that long, but I smoked a bowl last night, and without drying it, I smoked it right out of the tin, and I noticed it burned very hot, and it was very ill manageable in my bowl. So, uh, by the way, I'm smoking it in my Peterson 68 Dracula. This is a primarily a Virginia pipe. I only smoke Virginias in this, and um, there could be exceptions, but I've dedicated this to Virginia. Now, you don't have to do that with your pipe, but um, and you can probably switch off with that and smoke something that has Virginia in it, 
but I don't recommend smoking a Latakia in a, in a Virginia pipe or a, an aromatic, straight aromatic in a Virginia pipe. It's just my thing. You can do what you want to do. Um, I've seen this tobacco retail for $12.99. For the 3.5 ounce 100 gram tin, um, $13.99, maybe $12.99 on one site. One site smoking pipes, and the other was pipes and cigars. I'm not sure which price was on which site, but it's around the uh, teeters around the same area price wise. Doesn't seem like the availability is um, scarce or anything like that. So. But it's a fine Virginia tobacco, straight Virginia. You know, it's got the Kentucky and Perique, and where I can taste the, the peppery. Let me give her a retro hail. Hmm. It's got a little bit of the peppery kind of thing, the Perique going on, and the Kentucky. But mainly, I, I think it's a straight. Virginia and and of course it's not pure Virginia so it's got the other things elements in it so it's whatever you know you get from it it's not a bad tobacco um, unfortunately I'm not going to list this as a favorite of mine it's just not it, it's it's okay I it's not really my ball game okay I'm sorry to tell you that but that's just the truth but you might, being a Virginia lover, you may like it. I like Rat Ray's Brown Clooney a lot better. Mm. This is okay. So I can't give it a five star. I'm probably going to give it like mm, maybe two and a half, two and a half stars. Maybe creeping up to the three mark as it progress down the bowl. It may get a little more flavorful as it did last night. But I'm going to sit back and uh, enjoy this smoke. And I will see you in the next pipe video. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing on a Friday night. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>